Hi guys, welcome back to Jack here. Um, we're going to carry on with our core slash ab workout. Um, there's going to be no messing about today. All right, this is we're going to go straight in and we're just going to do the workout. So hopefully there's some uh, some exercises on your screen now. So you might just want to pause, uh, quickly jot those down because this is going to be your intermediate ab slash core workout. Cool. Right. So we're going straight into it. So. I'm just going to explain all of the exercises and then we're going to do our circuit. All right, so we're going to do the full sit up today. Last week we were doing this half sit up. We are going to come all the way from the bottom, all the way to the top, like so, and you're going to try and keep your feet firmly fixed on the ground. All right, all the way down, relax your head, hands behind your ears, and straight up and down like that. The whole range of motion, all right. Next one, straight leg raise. So completely flat on the floor, arms out to the side, legs together, keep them straight. And we're going to lift up to vertical point into the ceiling, drop them down without touching the floor. Like so. Easy peasy. The next one is going to be something called a long sit up. All right, so. We're going to be legs out straight again, and we're going to come all the way down, sit up and touch your toes. All right, now this one will use, obviously, uh, your abs, but it will use a few of your hip flexors as well. All right, so when it comes into karate, you might actually have to find this benefits your hips and your kicking. All right. Fifth one, we've got the dorsal raise again. I'll show you again what it is, but we've already done this one. Like so. Alright, because obviously we're doing a lot of ab work and core, you need to make sure you do the whole spectrum, obviously front, sides and back, obviously to give uh, a good core strength. Uh, number five is the crunch. Quite a difficult one, all right, but hopefully you're getting a good strength in here now so you can balance a little bit better. So we're going to be down like so, lift your feet a couple of inches off the ground, hands behind your ears. And we're going to pull up and balance on your backside here, and then down again without letting your shoulders or your feet touch the ground. Up and crunch, like so. All right. Last one. We've done this. We've done the forward plank like this. We've done that one already. We're going to add in the side plank as well. All right. Again, keeping a good posture. If you've been practicing your core workout and your push-ups, all right, this should be getting nice and strong now. All right, you should be able to hold that for uh, a minimum of 30 seconds. And obviously, you can do both sides and the front normal one. Okay, so we're going to go straight into our workout now. So we're going to go for 10 full sit-ups. Straight leg raises. Long sit ups now. Followed by our dorsal raises. Followed by our crunches.
Now we're going to do our front plank for 30 seconds. Straight after you've done your front one, you're going to go straight into your side. Swap. And good. All right. So depending on how tired you are after that one, um, you can either leave it 30 seconds rest, a minute rest, or even maybe two. You'll have to judge that yourself. Um, we are going to go for three to five sets. So uh, I'm going to leave it 30 seconds between sets, and uh, we'll go again in about 15 seconds. All right. Make sure you have a drink of water next to you or available, so you can just quickly slurp refresh yourself because it is quite tiring as you can tell my break my breathing is quite heavy because um, you're working these core cool muscles and uh, what we do we, we generally tend to not breathe when we do these ones so when you have a deep breath in and you contract muscles your internal pressure is actually it does make you a little bit better at doing the exercises all right so just bear that in mind I think the 30 seconds is just about up so we're going to go again back to the number one into long leg straight races.
to go and then you're done for the day. All right. <clears throat> keep, an eye on the, keep an eye on the clock. Try and judge on how tired you are. Again, like I said, with repeated, consistent exercise, you'll find that over maybe a six week period, you'll get a lot, lot better at this. And it won't be as challenging. So maybe cut down your rest periods in between sets and then that will, uh, that will change how, how strong your core can get. Save the last ones to save the hardest ones to last. Sometimes when you're doing this one, be careful that this doesn't drop. Try and keep this oblique side here nice and tight. That's one, 30 seconds left. Okay, so that was your intermediate core slash ab workout. Remember the exercises are universal. You can use them for any workout you like. I mean, even from the beginner video, uh, you, can, you can chop and change. You can change the sets, you can change the reps. You can change your rest periods. You can do all sorts of this stuff. You just need to find out what works for you uh, and put it together and train it consistently. Hope you enjoyed that today guys and we will see you soon. Thanks.